<coughs> Readings and salutations everyone, Amadeus44 here, and welcome back to another episode of Neverwinter Nights 2. When we last we left off, we brokered a, an agreement with the uh, Lizardmen, and now we have to hope that the village will react in kind. <coughs> and I completely forgot that I need to go back into exploration mode. Oops. Okay. <coughs> So, there's the Elder House, where is the Elder, 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 Hi Elder. Have you any news regarding the Lizard Folk? The Lizard Folk have a deal they want to make with you. You cannot trust those beasts, they have just enough intelligence to avoid killing their own young. Wow, <clears throat> bigoted much? But I will listen. What do they want? They have agreed to leave Highcliff alone if the village agrees not to trespass into their territory. How are we to know that our village was so close to their lair? Surely it would be easier if they were to find another home along the coast? Without a lizardman clan living so close to our village? I don't like this. Uh... The lizard folk fled the mirror and have resettled. On my word, they just want to be left alone. Their word may be good enough for you, but I and this village will have to live or die by such a decision. I'm going to try to do a diplomacy check. I found their chef chieftain to be reasonable and honorable. He will hold up his end of the bargain. Dang it! So, diplomacy needs a bit more work. Perhaps. Then again, I certainly would have agreed to anything if I knew I was in danger. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to say it. You're no better than the lizard folk if you insist on holding it to your prejudices. I suppose you're right. The lizard folk have not yet harmed a villager directly. Perhaps they are more civilized than I thought. <clears throat> Perhaps. Very well. I agree to the bargain against my better judgment. I just hope I made the correct decision. Thank you. Now, then, if I recall, I have a ship to catch? Of course, I shall ensure that every man we can spare will help with repairs to the double eagle. And I need to cough one second. Woo! Lots of experience. And I have shifted my actions towards both lawful and good. Um... Let's see here. Well, I do have a packet of money for Moza. Um. Yeah, let's go and do that then. Zakan, Gera, Main, Juni. And these are our people. So, Moza, where would you be? <clears throat> no. Karen Zakan. R. Uh, let's just go over here and see if we can find Moza. Perhaps he would be happy to have his money. Happy enough to... Oh, I don't know. Uh, give me a reward. <clears throat> Par. No, no, no. Uh, uh, the inn? Yep. I mean, it's the, my best bet. Chicken, villager, villager. At least I think there's an inn here. I mean, I did have a brawl outside of a building that, uh, looked like had drunkards. Yeah, this building. And I can't even enter it. <sighs> Dang it, Kelgar. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Uh... 
All right. Hi. Well met, I'm Adario. If you need uh, armor, please let me know. I'm the only armor in Highcliff, so if you you be needing anything, there's nowhere else to go. <clears throat> you don't sound too happy about that. Isn't lack of competition a good thing? I guess, but there really isn't much call for my work in a small town like this. I'd like to see your wares then. Okay. Now then, we did get a few items, so let's just sell, sell, sell. Ooh, adventuring. No, thank you. First bar. Um. Hmm. Ah, we got these boots right. <clears throat> Identify. Nasher's nimble boots. Boots, huh? Uh, plus three dexterity. Now, dexterity is good for rogues, if I recall. So, Nishka, hey, you got boots. Oh, you help? already slipped them on. Wait, no, you didn't. You have boots of fartiness. Plus one, which is health, right? No AC and constitution. So those can go to Kelgar. And these can go... I said those can go to Kelgar. Yeah. Now these boots go on you. And... Oop, plus one longsword. Let's just sell that. Obsidian. Mmm, nothing else that I can see that could be sold, except for that amethyst. Yes, yes, follow you. Right. Plus one breastplate, that might be a good thing to wear. How much armor is that? That is five. Banded mail is six. Yeah, banded mail it is. And chain mail plus one is kind of lame. Oi. Okay. And so chain mail plus one, no thank you. Banded mail plus one, yes please. I said banded mail plus one, yes please. Thank you. Anything else? Goblin shield of noob. Nulbish, I believe that said. Yeah. Plus four armor class. Uh. Okay, no thank you. Heavy shield, heavy shield plus one. This is a plus one heavy shield. Horse here. Yeah, helmet. Yeah. Pot helmet. Hmm. And what do you have? You have studded leather plus one. And, oh, you can wear a chain shirt. Okay, then you can get that. Now, studded leather is three, and I think this is four, right? Right. So this one is obviously better. Okay. And <clears throat> let's go with, hmm, let's go with a pot helmet for you. Cause pot helmet, that's why. Now anything else that you can have? Hmm. Let's give you a winged helmet. There we go, isn't that much better? And you don't really have much else, so boo to you. Uh, oops, wrong person, that's why I wasn't able to move. Now then. Let's go into a bigger map. Ed Audio, Captain Flynn. Uh huh. Par. And the docks. Uh, maybe at the docks? 
I mean, it's my only other option, right? Also, I thought I saw somebody. Guess it was my imaginary. You, drunkard. Place Cyclif has a place for drinking, otherwise I'd go mad. Yeah, yeah. You're already insane, just an FYI. Sorry to break it to you. But it's true. Okay, so then, let's see if we can find this guy. What was his name again? Uh, Moza. So, Moza. You're not Moza, and you're not Moza. And I just sort of teleported right over there. Yay. Okay, then. Let's just keep on a going. See if we can find that Moza gent. You gonna be over here? No, of course not. Why would you be? Villager, Jenny, meh, meh. Nope, nobody by the name of Moza. Where could he be? Uh, okay, that's just a sign. And, yeah. No clue at all. That's an arrow. Okay, so. I have no idea then. Because, yeah. I mean, I can. Oh, hey, there's Moza. Hi, Moza. Got you something. I'm sure that it's something that you really, really want. Now, how to get around? I think I even made this mistake earlier. Hey cows, hey chickens. How's it going? Come on. There we go. So let's just keep on a going. <clears throat> yes, yes, hi, Mr. Armor. Hey, Mr. Drunk Sailor. Okay. Uh, uh, there's the tavern. Okay, then. And there's Moza. Hi, Moza. <clears throat> Should have... Try to find him sooner, you know? You're the new arrivals I've heard about. You're the adventurers, I take it. Uh, who are you? Name's Moza. I know, it's an old, odd name. It was the one given to me, though, so I'm rather attached to it. But enough of that. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind helping me out with a small problem. What is it you need? I was hired by a group of adventurers to show them the area around Highcliffe. Help them get their bearings, as it were. It was a bit dangerous, but they offered more gold than I'd seen in ten seasons working the fields. I'd have been surprised to say no. What went wrong? My employers only paid me half what they owed me before they went off to explore some ruined castle north of here. They promised the rest when they got back. That was over a week ago. Since your adventures too, I was hoping you might be willing to go out and find them for me. <clears throat> Actually, I already found them. Oh, are they alright? Do they have my money? Uh, they were killed by an evil cleric and raised as his undead minions. Here's pay they had set aside for you. Really? How awful. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. Well, duh. Here, take some of the gold for yourself. You earned it. Uh, keep all the gold. You probably need it more than I do. 
You took all that risk for free? That's uncommonly generous for you. For I won't forget this. Well, thanks for the help. I'm off, may your journey go well. Yeah, you go off, sir. And here I thought he was a guard. Shows what I know. Okay, just a little bit more. Uh, and then I'll be back at the docks and we will be headed on our way to the grand city of Neverwinter. Where it's never, ever, ever winter. Or something along those lines. <clears throat> there we go. And then just a little bit more of the going down the stairs thing that everybody's so uh, happy about doing. And then I'm back at the docks. And, oh, Junie, hi. How are you doing today? You were the ones being with the Elder. Did he turn his back to your place as well? He seemed quite reasonable. Reasonable? My husband is missing and he refused to send out a search party. How is that reasonable? Is there something, is there some way I could help? You'd be willing to take a risk for a complete stranger? I, well, this is a surprise. I'll do what I can to bring him back. Please bring him home safely. I don't want my child growing up without a father. Even if William does have his weaknesses, it's, he's better than nothing. You may want to speak with that girl, Sandra. He's, she refused to give up her farm to those lizard folk. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so. Just when I thought I was out, I get pulled back in. <sighs> Fine, I'll go to the farm. I'll go and see what happened. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? And here I was hoping that I'd go to Neverwinter. Ah. Okay then. So. Just gotta go over. And through here, hopefully. I say hopefully because I am uncertain. Transition. And... Uh, farm. Travel. That icon was red. I wonder why it was. Probably because it's a quest location or something. I don't know. I never know. Okay, so... Let's see here. Hey lady, where are you? You in here? Nope, nope, doesn't look like it. <sighs> no, no, nothing's going on here. Wait, 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 wait. Can I even go through here? No, of course not. Why would I? <sighs> Fine then. Okay, so... Let's see here. Oh. Okay, heading for the old High Cliff Castle ruins. Okay then. Fine, I'll go there. See if I care. Actually, I totally do. But, yeah, you know. <clears throat> Adjust seating. <sighs> okay, William. This better be good. Travel. Travel. 
Okay. Puppies. Hey, puppies. How's it going? Aw, the puppies want to play. Hi, puppies. Aw, they're sleeping now. Okay. So I have no idea where else I could go here. Um, aside from maybe the ruins proper, but we've already been there and we know what happened there. Isn't that right? Okay, so this way, I suppose. I mean, Better than nothing, right? Let's adjust our camera. Okay, I don't really see anywhere else he could have gone. Unless, of course, if I recall last episode, I saw a little uh, rest area uh, along the coast. Or something. So that was over here this way. I won't say no, not this way, but I don't know. Oh, hi, William. Um, yeah, I was just talking about you. Hey, how's it going? Um, you know, your wife was talking about you. Uh, yeah, she's a nice lady and all, but, uh, you really gotta go home, you know? Oi, come on. Let's get going. Oi. Thank you. <clears throat> hey, William, how's it going, buddy? Nice lake. Who are you? How'd you find me? Calm down, your wife sent me to look for you. Junie, I should have known she wouldn't let me go without a fight. But I'm not going back. I've made my decision. This clearing will serve just as well as Highcliff for a home. Why are you here? Junie's worried. I just couldn't take it anymore. The farming, the child, never any time to myself. She wouldn't even let me spend a few evenings at Blue Rooster. I decided to start a new life as elsewhere. For now, this clearing will do. Tell Junie you found me dead, killed by beers. Here, take my wedding band that should convince her to just stop looking for me. I'm not lying for you. Please, I can't go back. Even if I wanted to, Junie would be furious if she found out why I disappeared. I've met Junie. She can be difficult, but you're up to the challenge. Dang it. Nice try, but you know it'll take someone with a lot more patience than me to stand, stay with her. Not going back. I'm not going to lie. I'll tell Junie where you are. You do what you have to do. I'll just make sure I'm not here for her to find me in that, if that's the case. Sounds like I'll have to make camp somewhere else far away. Farewell and don't blame me when Junie tears your head off for letting me go. Ugh. Wish there was something better, but alas. Sorry, guy. Sorry. Sorry, Junie. I'm sure that... Yeah. Is this guy... No, he's not following me. Good, good. <clears throat> and he just spontaneously disappeared. Okay, then. Let's just go back to the world map. And... Hi, Cliff. Hi, Cliff. Hi.
Okay, so... You're not Junie, you're just a villager. I know you. And you're not Junie, you're a drunk guy. I know you. Okay, Junie, I know it's hard to bear, but... Ugh. Your husband said no. Yeah. That's all there is to it. Your husband just said no. <clears throat> I mean, I'll keep my eye out for him, but... Yeah, there's nothing else I can do. Sorry. Come on. Hey, Junie. I don't see William with you. Have you not found him yet? William's alive, but he refuses to come back. He's what's running away from you. Running from me? The man has responsibilities. He can't just walk away from them. I'm sorry you had to find out from me. Where is he? Where is that coward? To think that I was so worried about his well-being. He has a camp near High Cliff Castle. Oh, he is, is he? Thank you for being honest with me. It's more than what that coward would grant me. Here, take this. I think what you've told me is worth the gold. I'll be beating the money out of William's hide when I find him. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a wayward husband to catch. Poor William. Even if he'd made a run for Icewind Dale, it still wouldn't be far enough. Anyways, what reward did we get? Can I see? Hey, hey, no, Nishka, no, no. Hmm, huh. old William got what was coming to him. Wouldn't catch some dwarf husband scuttling it off like that, hiding from his wife. Uh-huh. And where's your wife, hmm? <clears throat> it would have been best if William had simply had the courage to tell her on his own. If you love someone, you tell them your feelings. If not, you still owe them the same courtesy. Indeed, sad but true. Okay, Gira, and you are? Gira, look who it is. Ilmater has answered our prayers. Is it another quest? Uh, you probably don't remember me. You saved my wife life back at the Weeping Willow. Oh yeah, I remember you. Well, Matt, it's good to see you again. We don't wish to impose, but we could use your help again. We, we still have some money. No money is necessary. What's wrong? Woohoo! One more shift towards good. The stories I have you assisting many strangers since we last met. I am grateful for your help. Two days ago, our son Andrew went off to the old High Cliff Castle ruins with one of his friends. Lovely. And you want me to go chase after little Andy, don't you? Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to do it. They were forbidden to leave the village, but they slipped away without us noticing. It's hard to keep an eye on them all the time with the troubles about. I see, and they haven't returned? No, it's been days. We asked the village elder to send some men to look for them, but he refuses to risk anyone searching for them while High Cliff is in danger. With Junie's husband disappearing up at Thorns as well, the elder has become too cautious. We have been hoping another such as you would be able to help us. <clears throat> I'll look for them. I'm sure they're fine. Oh, thank you. We were both so worried with the attacks on the airships and William disappearing. We've been at wit's end. Anything could have happened to those boys. I'll return when I found them. Why are we wasting our time looking for two kids? We have more important things to do. Then it's a good thing you're not making the decision, isn't it, Tiefling? Ow! Don't start with me again, dwarf. Let's see. <clears throat> I know this isn't their problem, but I have to help if I can. Fine, fine. If you want to waste their time, then so will I, even if it's a dumb idea. Ow. And more lost influence, but more good. So, yay. I, for one, approve. The mirror is not an easy place for children, and I expect the wells of Highcliff are no better. Woohoo! More influence with Eleni. Or however you pronounce it. 
I just hope there's some gold in this for us. My purse isn't as full as I'd like it to be. Jeez. Anyways, I think that'll do it for this episode. So don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment, or whatever you want. And as usual, this is 44 signing out, wishing you a wonderful day, and happy gaming. Farewell.